What is up everybody? It is Amar BHD and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get your saves that are copy prohibited, how you can get them, how you can unlock them, how you can use them on any PlayStation 3 account, how you can save for Skate 3. For example, I just made this skater. I'm going to upload them to my website as soon as I upload this video and um I decided to give y'all a tutorial on how to do that since skate 3 save data is copying prohibited a lot of people don't know how to get their saves and how to send their saves to their friends on discord or whatever the case may be I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video so obviously you're gonna need either hybrid firmware or custom firmware I'm actually using hybrid firmware because I like it a lot better it's just more convenient for me so um if you try to go to your USB, you have your USB plugged in and you try to copy your Skate 3 save data, it's not going to show up. It's only going to show up the online stores that you need PlayStation Plus for. And the reason why, if you go to information, is because it says copying prohibited and there is a lock on it. So I'm going to show you how to remove that stupid crap. I don't even know why they put that on there. That's like the most dumbest stuff I've seen in a very long time but um basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not signed in to playstation network because you're going to go on the homebrew app multi-man or mmcm whatever you want to call it and the reason i say make sure you're not signed in is because if you're signed in and you use homebrew apps it could red flag sony and you could get your account banned or your whole console banned so keep that in mind be smart with it you know you don't want to get banned just be smart with it so um, once multi-man is loaded you scroll to the left you go to file manager and um, usually what I do first is I go to ps3 root and then I go to where it says USB and this is basically everything that's on my usb you can just create a new folder press circle and click new folder but i already have a folder that i keep my saves in it's called skate 3 saves so i'm just going to open that up and i'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom these are all my saves i have all my skater saves backed up so when i want to use a different skater i'll just load up whatever skater you know what i'm saying so just click circle and then click create new folder uh, since this skater has a monster logo on the front and a weed logo on the back I'm just gonna call it monster weed I mean I don't really know what else to call it I didn't make it I just made the color and stuff I made it look a little bit cooler so um just open up that folder that you just created obviously there's nothing in it yet it's gonna be blank that's perfectly fine now go back if you ever get lost look up here by the way just that's your pathway now go back to ps3 root and go to dev hdd0 and then go to um, home and when you go here this is all the accounts that are going to be on your ps3 i only have four accounts on this ps3 if you don't know what i mean by accounts i mean user accounts if you scroll over you'll see one two three four they all go in order so it's really not like it's almost impossible to get lost but if you ever do get lost I know I'm on the first one the first account so I'm just gonna open that up but if you ever do get lost go down to local username and um, if you look up at the top right it'll tell you the name of your user account that you're on so if you don't know what that name means I'll make a tutorial for that for you too <laughs> um go to where it says save data right here open that up and this part might be a little bit confusing but it actually gets easier once you know what you're actually looking for so i know what i'm looking for and it's plus you know whatever the number says alias skaters and this is the, the save that i made today which today's date is right there and if you look down at the bottom right you can also see the date as well so if you ever get confused just look for the date and usually you'll have the the newest date will be the one that you just created so if you're in usa it'll be plus if you're in uk it'll be blessed so just highlight it click circle and then click copy and then exit off of that 
now click circle right here and then click paste and you're just going to click yes and you're going to paste your save data onto your usb flash drive very easy so now your skate 3 save or whatever save that you're doing is now on your usb flash drive so now you are pretty much done with the ps3 part now you're going to go to your computer so just exit off of multi-man however you want to exit off of it i usually just load up skate 3 in multi-man that way the game's already loaded and i'm already prepared but um so the part you're going to do now is you're going to go to your pc once you're on your pc you're going to go to your removable disc which is your usb flash drive you're going to find the save that you just put on your flash drive, which I keep mine in here with all my other saves. And um, you're going to basically put the save that you just made, you're going to put it into your computer. I keep mine in a folder in my documents called Skate 3 Saves. I keep mine here. This is where I keep all my saves on my computer. So I have it backed up on my computer and I have it backed up on my USB flash drive. Basically, you're just going to drag it and drop it into wherever you want it. I, I keep mine here. I like to keep my stuff organized. So once you got it on your computer, you're basically done with the USB for now. So just exit off of it. And um, you're going to need a program called Brute Force save data and um if you don't have it just google it you can find it very easy and just download it so basically you want to drop your save into brute force save data and when you get here you're gonna see like under profile it's got some numbers that that is your profile account number that this save is assigned to and you're going to see that it says copy protection it'll say yes that means that you cannot copy the save well we're going to get rid of all that stuff right now so basically you just want to highlight it and you want to go to this right here and you want to go to unlock save to work on any ps3 account you're going to click that and then you're going to click yes and if you look under where it says profile now you'll see that it says blank. So that means this save will work on any PS3 account now. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this copy protection. So you're gonna go to right here and you're just gonna go to remove protection, remove copy protection. And then click yes. And if you notice up there, the copy protection will now be gone. So now there's one last thing to do. You're gonna go to update PFD and go to update pfd full which is updating the profile data so you're going to do three things you're going to unlock it to work on any ps3 you're going to remove the copy protection and you're going to update the pfd and once you do that you're basically done but let's say you have let's say you want to change the region of the game say you're not on the usa version of skate 3 or whatever you're on the uk version you're just going to highlight it and you're going to click change title slash region and you're going to need to know the codes slash the name for the version that you're trying to do so i'm going to put this in uk i already know that it's bless 00760 so i'm going to type that in i'm going to click ok and if you look over here I have another folder right here which is another save and it copied it made an exact replica of my bless version so now I have bless and bless both so you need to do one last thing though you need to update the PFD on the bless version because if you don't do that then it'll say corrupted data so you want to make sure that you update the PFD once you make a replica of the bless version so now you have two save datas and they both work 100 percent so now you are covered you backed up your save all that good stuff and usually i add a picture so that way you know you can get a preview of what the save is so i put this picture in here so that way i know what this skater looks like if i want to use this skater or if i want to use a different skater or whatever the case may be 
So let's say you want to send it to a friend or something on Discord. So you're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip. You're going to right click it and you're going to go to add to archive. And um, you're not going to mess with anything. If you notice it says .rar up there. The only thing you're going to change is you're going to put this on auto detect or auto detect whatever. And you're going to click OK. And then now what that's going to do is that it put it in, in a RAR format. So now if you scroll down, you'll be able to find it. But now you can send this to all your friends on this Discord or you can send it to whoever or you can upload it to a website. You can pretty much do whatever you want to do with it. And that's basically how you do this. You're pretty much done. If you got this far, you're pretty much done, bro. Like for real. But um, that's basically how you do it. You backed up your saves. You got your saves on your USB. You got your saves on your computer. You got your saves unlocked. You got the profile unlocked. You got the copy protection removed so you can copy it to your PS3. You got it in a RAR format so you can send it to your friends. You are basically done. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learn something and, and it, it doesn't just have to be skate 3 it could be any game that you have that's copy prohibited this is just how you bypass all that stupid crap but um that's it for this video thank you guys for watching i hope i explained it clearly you know i'm not the clearest person so i tried to break it down into as much detail as i can but um that's it for this video we're almost at 12 minutes now so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here have a good day. Thanks for watching. You know, I'll keep you updated on my next video. I got some new stuff coming out soon. So um, that's it. Peace.